sorry about uh -huh. this. We are getting kicked off here. All right. Well, we are back on the ship here, guys, and I'm just going to get right into it. So I'm just plugging in a couple tools here, making sure I've got everything we need to start building. So I think we're going to be starting with a couple of final details here. Eh, kind of final. We'll see. We'll see where we get here, but we're gonna make we're gonna make some progress. Uh, hey, thanks for the follow. Uh, so I'm just getting the tool, the hot tool set up. There's a couple of things that I know I want to figure out with this piece, and uh, a couple of things are I know I want a crow's nest. So that's what I thought. Looks impressive. Oh, thank you. So anybody that's uh, just getting caught up to speed now, it's got a full playable interior, so you can pop that off there, and you can see it's got the hull. Um, I am reading comments, doing my best to keep up here. Um, but yeah, you can uh, detach that. These come off so that if, you know if you're playing and you want to remove, uh, you know, get some stuff out of the way, as well as into uh, the area here. And I think I had said I wanted to glue a piece of that back on in there to to fix that up, but I don't. I'm not totally sure why that piece is there, but. Um, what time is it for you? It's like 9 o'clock. Um, so I'm going to do my best to keep up with comments. We've kind of got like a bit of it. I'm not totally sure. I was thinking that we'd have full full sails down, but honestly, I think it'd make the piece just a little too cluttered, especially if you're going to like play on it with miniatures and stuff. So, um, you know, if we grab our classic little dude here. Oh, it's PM. Yeah, for sure PM. It's late for me. Well, not late, but PM, yeah. Um... I've got our dude here, so uh, we can see just scale, but, you know, if you're moving around, I mean, we've got some working parts here, so that's fun. And then our cannons, of course, which we want to, I'm probably just going to spray paint those up and then paint them, so I'll get those done after. Anyway, oh, we uh, we stopped to do the, um, the marble temple, but now we're back. So, first off, let's get, like, one thing for sure, we need a crow's nest, so I'm going to get some pieces here uh, going. I have a 3 a.m. here, oh my goodness crazy you are you are up late you are up late um so we're gonna need some wood for this and actually i have this i don't know i have this little circle i don't know if it's too big i uh, might have to bust out the circle jig and cut up something new here but let's just see where's our where did i put that dude? um is that too big for the crow's nest and you know what? I don't think so. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna give it a whirl with this one. Looks amazing. Thank you. Thanks, Red Bull. Um, so this is a little thick for the for the floor. So I'm just going to hop over the proxy. I'm not gonna bother amusing you. So, quick question: How long you been? Uh, how long do you think it's going to take to finish the, it completely? Well, we've been at this for quite some time. Um, I actually don't fully know how long it's gonna take. Um, I don't think we'll be able to finish it up tonight. <laughs> because we haven't even started painting yet, but um, um, uh, hopefully quicker than one would think. Are you put some shrouds? Are you gonna put some shrouds on? I'm gonna put a bunch of things on it. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be adding a bunch of detail, but first I wanted to get to the crow's nest. So I got a, a flat piece there, and then. Um, I think this is going to work for slicing down our wood grain, so let's get right to it. I'm going to need a bunch of wood texture for this. So this is just hot wire tool, and uh, we're going to start texturing it up here. Yeah. So anyway, um, I'm going to do my best to keep up with comments while I'm building this, uh, but if it falls through, my apologies. Um, but we are back on the ship, and I want to get this done. We took a little bit of a detour with the Marble Temple, which was just a fun experiment. Um, you know, I like to keep things interesting for myself, and the ship project was dragging on. Um, but it's good, uh, because this is actually probably the biggest build I've ever done, and for sure the amount of like detail that we're putting into this thing, it is uh, it's a big build for me. So... We're just going to texture up some wood here. Hello there. Bro, you missed my comment three times. I didn't get it, dude. Uh, I mentioned, I talked about your, uh, you asked me about the PM, so 
Sorry, maybe it mentioned something contraband, then it would take it out of the comments. But hey, love the ship. Thanks so much. Hey, Darth Slayer. What's up? I am just going to slice down. Um, I'm not going to bother panning you over because I'm going to be back and forth between my procs on and this. I'm just doing some classic milling out some wood here. And uh, and I'm just thinking about it. I actually, I'm going to do this right. Uh, do you remember me? Yeah, you're the one that always says dad or something. Um, but he tries his best. I do try my best, uh, especially when I'm crafting. It's tricky sometimes. Now, we could do spindles rather than a bucket. So we could do that too if we wanted. Um, and actually maybe that maybe that fits a little bit better. But that would be hard to do the the curve. I'm gonna do the bucket. I like the bucket. Let's try it. So um, just trying to think about how we're gonna do this. We want it double sided so I might actually have to make the wood cut a little bit thicker so that it just holds a little bit of the structure better. Uh, oh hi I'm back. What's up? Hello. Welcome to the live. We are back on the ship. We had a good time with the uh, Marble Temple. A lot of new techniques. Putting that video together now for the YouTube channel. And we're also live on YouTube. So I'm live all over the place. Um, I'm live on TikTok. I'm live on YouTube. We're recording all this to make a video um, of how I built this ship. And yeah, it it's great. And I'm loving all the responses and the talk and it's fun when you guys start talking to each other and then you just cut me right out of my own life <laughs> just no it's good i'm glad uh, i love connecting uh with people and people together so it is good stuff all right so now we're going to do just a bigger bit bigger of a cut with this one nice boat thanks what are you working on the ship the pirate ship the epic pirate ship and I'm just over here, just quickly milling over on my Proxon, um, just because I don't want to keep flip flopping you. Um, but so we made it a little bit thicker here. Uh, this is so cool. Oh, thank you. A ship he was working on before the temple. Exactly. That's that was you. Appreciate it. Um, so we got to texture both sides because this is going to be a little piece of wood that's going to do it. So with thinner pieces like that, you just lay it down. Start. Woo! That'll be a knot. Happy little accidents, right? So, let's get after it. Uh, love your work. Oh, thanks so much, Nicholas. You have the same name. I spell mine with a C-H, but, but that's cool. Awesome, thank you. Um, I need one of those foam cutters so bad. Hey, Amazon, you can pick one, pick one up. They are, they're very handy. If you want to use, uh, if you want to do um, wood texture and you don't have one of these, you can pick up just a steel brush and grab them at the dollar store, a couple bucks. They also do a very good job. Um, but I personally like this one, uh, the hot, uh, the, this method better. Um, so yeah, happy little wood planks. Exactly, you got it. Can we see the finished temple real quick, please? Um, it would require... It's a bit of a thing to move. I've done a bunch of cinematics so that you guys can check it out. Um, and I might do a show and tell after this. But I'm kind of... I'm in this one, so... Um, what is it called? What is what the ship called? Um, the Sweet Anne Redemption. Um, or uh, My Love Nichelle. After my wife. So I'm just texturing up some board there um you can see that exactly yeah you can check it out and I, like i said uh might do a show and tell time if you guys want to see some of my bunch of my builds i just posted a video a bunch of about a bunch of my builds uh most recent ones um so always be sure to check that out but uh yeah so we're just texturing up some wood here for this is going to be the base of our um, little well chip and you could glue them onto this um, but I was actually just trying this method out and see how it worked but you just kind of like burn big marks into the wood there um, so we've got this double sided piece of wood we've got these now we just got to figure out how high we want to make the deck um, so uh, we've got our little dude and I 
think, what do you think? Maybe like an inch. Let's grab a ruler. Yeah, I think an inch would probably do a good job. Let's cut a little piece here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so let's cut up a bunch of inch pieces here. And we're going to make kind of like a little barrel crow's nest. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're probably even going to rough these up. Where do you put the magnets for your build? Where do you... Where do you butt them? I'm assuming that's put, but um, I some of them are in plain view and I just paint over them and kind of hide them up a little bit. Um, some of them I put just between like planks, like for these ones. Woo! Pull some. Note to self: don't pull spindles. I have to get those uh, finished on. But some of them I'll hide underneath like a plank or something like that. Um, and then ones like that, you kind of just leave them right out in the open. But um, yeah. Oh, where do you buy your magnets? Oh, sorry, I thought you meant put. Um, just Amazon. Uh, really, I think like 3 by 5 millimeter or really whatever size you need, but yeah, that's it. And look at that. Nice spacing. All right. So, what am I looking at? You're looking at a ship made out of insulation foam. Yeah, miniature crafting for little miniature dudes. Um, okay, so I'm going to start gluing these on here. Wham, bam, we just start doing things. That's how we roll. And uh, if there's a little bit of overhang, that's cool. I'm good with it. You know, if they're not perfect. And I actually should probably be gluing them together, so. Whoop. A little dab there. And maybe I'll go about my gluing method a little bit differently here. So you can put them on the ground like that. There we go. And the more you add, the more secure it'll get. Let's break it. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. So I guess we'll do one board at a time here. So we'll do put a little down there and then up the side of the, the next one. Grab a little plank. Pop it on. Wham, bam. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way around. Yeah. Uh, it looks cool. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that, the cat. There we go. I know nothing. So what style of ship is this? <laughs> well, I also know nothing. So it's a pirate ship. Um, I don't know specific names. I've never built a ship before, and I didn't study ships before making this one. So she is pretty wingy. Um, I like, I really actually, I kind of prefer the method of, I don't do a, a crazy amount of research. You know, I know what a ship looks like and I got an idea for one and, um, you know, it's the same with the temple. It's like, I don't, I kind of know what a temple looks like, but then I let my imagination just fill in some gaps. So, um, you know, what kind of ship it is, if, if it's, uh, I don't know what the types of ships, tall ship, is that one? Um, yeah, pirate, there we go. Um, the foam kind. <laughs> That's funny. It's a foam ship. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I did like we we like what I, while I was building this, I've been doing this um, all live on uh, YouTube and Instagram, or no, sorry, Instagram, YouTube and TikTok, and um, and uh, sometimes I'll get you guys to like research something for me, being like, which way do the planks go? Um, a galleon, okay. Yeah, I've heard that. A brig brigantine? That's on. <laughs> uh, looks like one from any game or movie, so it works for me. Exactly. See? That's what, that's what my imagination... My, my imagination... I can't speak straight. Um, my imagination is like ship. Generic ship that you can use on multiple campaigns if you want. So... Uh, so, you know, some people ask me, they're like, hey, are you building this for a specific encounter or something? And my answer is always no. I don't think I've ever built something specific to one because I think you can make it work for anything. Um, oh, that's not true. I think maybe I made one. 
um, that was like I had this in mind, but I made it so I could use it for other pe for other encounters and stuff. Cause you know, you want to reuse your stuff. You spend all this time. Why do you need it? So, uh, well, um, oh, are you making the bird's nest? That is correct. The birds, the bird's nest, the crow's nest, the thingy, the thingy nest up at the top. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to do for, um, well, for sales. I think we're probably going to do them dipped in tea or something like that. And then I'm going to use twine and wrap things up. I think I'm going to get to like the, 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 the lattice tower or whatever it's called. You're one of the first people to a, you know, lag me in alive. I don't know what that means, but I respond to you. <laughs> Crow's nest. Yep. There you go. It can be whatever kind of nest. I'm sure. I wonder why crow, you know, because that's not really, it's not a seabird like an albatross or a seagull or pelican or I don't know what other kind of seabirds there are, but I feel like albatross is, is a, is a type of sea, anyway, why then call it one of those nests? Why a crow? You know? Interesting. Um, yes, right. I would recommend coffee and not tea, but you would be, you would be more knowledgeable. I would recommend coffee and not tea for, I'm sorry, did I miss a question? Crows watch people. Maybe that's why. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a crow's nest because a bunch of crows is called a murder and pirates murder people. <laughs> but I guess that's all ships, so. Um, you're making coffee, not tea. for. Oh, sorry, you're referencing the, yeah, sorry, I know, I'm probably, um, I'm too, I'm too fast. Um, you can see as the crow flies. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, I know why. Okay, we've got answers. See, this is great. It's an interactive live. You guys are giving me answers. Look at this. I think I'm so close. It, I could have that as the intro. I feel, I feel better. Just one more, maybe. Oh, how's that? Um, they would take a bird with them to fly to land. Oh, good call. Knowledgeable. Instant coffee would probably be instant coffee. That's a great one. I've always used, for some reason, uh, Earl Grey tea. I don't know what it is. It's a dark tea, um, but I've always used that one. But uh, that instant coffee, I'm pretty sure I have some of that. So yeah, that would be a be a good idea. Um, dude, that's epic. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. So there's like a a crow a crow's nest. These pop off so we can like. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get away with one. See, it needs one more. And I'll just use this thinner piece. Because we're cool with it. Where are you? There we go. And we'll picture both sides. Okay. I did not know how to spell more. I went for crows. We go. High places go there. Look out. Crow's nest isn't just a ship. It's any. Ooh. Any little Oh, look at this. See, we're getting educated. All right. So we've. We've solved some things. There's a bunch of sayings around crows. It is not just ships. So, all right. I'll take it. All right. Hi, Shell. Oh, working on the ship. Cool. Yeah. We are finished the Marvel Temple, and you can go check it out. I did a bit of. I did a bit of. I did a bunch of lives. Hi. Hi. Bibbidi. Um, now I think I'm not going to use wood because I want to put a band around this to, you know, kind of make it look like it's secured, almost like a barrel. Um, the power of Siri, nice. I'm going to, um, I'm just going to slice a thin, a thin something. So I'm going to look through some scraps here. This one's a little bit thick, but it might have to work here. Let's see. Uh, so I'm just going to rip it down on the proxon over here, out of view. There we go. Oops, sorry about the bump. And so I think that's good. This, I'm going to do a thin slice this way. Um, where do you get this, where did you get this ship? It looks like the one, uh, what do you mean where do I get it? I'm making it. Have a great day. Today's my birthday. Oh my gosh, happy birthday. Sorry, catching up on some, uh, some comments here. How much would it take you to sell that to me? Seriously, inquire. Well, hit me up in the comments and we'll talk. Or, not in the comments. Uh, uh, message me. Uh, you can message me on Instagram or try to message me on here. I don't know how it works. Happy birthday. Everybody wish Shelly. Shell? Shell? Shelly? A happy birthday. 
I always mess that up. Um, you made it out of foam? Yeah. Happy birthday! Oh, you made it? This is amazing. Yeah! Yeah, this is all just XPS foam. Alright. That's exciting. I won't ask how old you're turning. That's the nosy side of me talking. Alright, we're just ripping down a little piece of banding that we're going to put on here. Uh, and it's the same kind of banding I was going for with the with that. Um, it's pretty it's pretty thin actually, but I think this will work. So we're just going to use that. Um, off you lifted it up. Off you lifted it up. It would, oh yeah, this like it looked like a shoe. Yeah, it looks so much like a uh, cast and play 3D print model. It's awesome. Oh yeah, actually, um, as a pa uh, Patreon of Cast and Play, they got some great stuff. Only their ship is about this big, so we upped it. But it's funny that you mentioned that because I have that I have that cursed pirates, which I think we're gonna be using here. So if you know that, you got it in. That looks bad. Oh, thank you. And thank you for the follow. So, I'm going to just put a thin layer of glue all the way out, around. Woo! And then just throw it. And see if we can get this banding to stick fast enough. Wapow! There we go. Beautiful. Alright. I'm gonna hey, you lift it up, it makes a little shoe sure, like it like the tongue of a shoe. Yeah, for sure. No, it, it actually does. I was just messing with you. Alright. Crow's nest. Boom, done. Finish. I'm just kidding. Um so I just want to jag up these edges because if these are little pieces of wood sticking up like that, I want to do them. Thanks for the follows, guys. Appreciate that. So I'm just gonna uh, just tap, tap, tap along here. Just to rough up these edges a little bit. Do, 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 do. There we go. Alright. So, um, I think we want it on the tallest one. So we pop this off. Um, these are just kind of like loosely put there. I just want to give the impression. Um, but then we can pop this on right out of the top of that and probably put it out to the side here um, and then we can talk about doing something to stick up like maybe do like a flagpole or something like that but for now we're just going to uh, pinpoint the center here somewhere what does that feel like? Boop. looks good to me throw some little bit of glue on it wham Bam, and it kind of goes like that, so we put it out to the side, and we have a crow's nest. Um, you broke your blade blade. Shucks, a great tragedy. Are you <laughs> are you married? Yes, I am happily married to my beautiful, lovely wife, Nichelle Howard. I don't know why I went the full name. I've been doing a lot of legal junk. Um, but yes, I am married. Hmm. Um, that looks good. Adding a ladder? You betcha. Have you ever heard of the tragedy of Darth? I have not. Um, actually, why did that ring a bell? I don't know, maybe it doesn't. Um, what am I doing for a ladder? Great question. I'm going to pull up some stuff here and see if I can find... I have this square of mesh junk. Um, just have to remember where I put it here. Uh, 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 um. It's somewhere in my supplies here. Alright. Uh, where did I put you? I clean up too many times and I misplace things. stuff everywhere. I'm finding cool things, but not the right things. Mm -hmm. Well, I found my twine, but I did not find the mesh that I was going to use for the, uh, huh. 
weird. I don't know where that would have gotten to. Well, I guess we will keep going. I don't want to bore you guys here, but I thought I had that somewhere. Hmm. Um, yes, twine. We will be twining things. That's oh, it bothering me a little bit. Where'd you? Yeah, that little rascal will too. I usually. Well, let's see. We have this stuff, which is drywall tape, and it's it makes great mesh stuff. See, we use it right there, but this one is it's a little fine. It's not exactly what I'd want to use for the uh, thing. I have this like thing of like it's like a fabric twine thing, and I have uh, I have a lot of random drawers. That have a lot of random things in them. And somewhere is my mesh, but I just cleaned up, so I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Somewhere. And I do apologize. This should have just been in one of my drawers. Sit there waiting to be used. You wouldn't believe all the supplies I have. You got magnet tape. I don't have magnet tape. All right. Well, I'll continue my search after. I keep saying that. We'll see. Is really in a drawer? All right. Well, we also have this string stuff. That's just really weird to me. It might be hiding like right in front of my face somewhere too, but all right. So, um, how long does it take you to make? Uh, we've been at this for quite a few hours. Chewing noises. Uh, by hey, no worries. Uh, cross stitch fabric would be perfect. I have this stuff that's used for like rug hooking. So exactly. Um, as I, my mom used to always say, "Stop and look in front of you." <laughs> Stop and look in front of me, huh? I'm looking in front of me. I wish I would have hit it inside the ship. That would have been, would have been great. Well, no worries. So we've got that. Um, and I guess we could do some other fun details. So I'm going to grab um, this tray of beads and maybe uh, along the way uh, something will show up. So, we've got some beads here, and I was thinking that we could use these for um, some just wooden, like wooden things to tie ropes to and off the sides. Like these little things, if we just like, I think they'd be cool to like just put them on some toothpicks and like put them off the sides for like ropes to get like tied to, you know how they do things, or you know, little, little knobs or something like that. We've got a bunch of these oblong ones and then I don't know if really if there's any other ones but I know we have a bunch of these so I think we have some yeah little things like this um are good so I'm just gonna grab a couple of things I think we could use for for those and then if we ever need you know, little ball points whatever you think here and, and even like these ones, I mean, how perfect is this one? I think this is actually twine wrapped around a bead, so. Morgan, sorry for Well, thanks for the roses, Roll TP. Roll TP, nice name. Um, I am, uh, sorry I wasn't able to find that uh, other piece for you there, holding you guys up, um, but we'll keep rocking. Let's grab some other random bits that we like. I think these little... Those would be good for something. 
the longer ones. Let's just grab. They're kind of random, so that's cool. There we go. Hmm. These all got messed up. I accidentally dropped these one time. It was a real hot mess. Hmm. 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 Right, we got a couple more of these in here. So. I mean, we can always come back. So let's uh, let's mess around with uh, mess around with these for a bit and see what we like and what we come up with. Here, okay. Miniature world is awesome. <laughs> Miniature world is awesome, literally, figuratively, and literally. Hmm. All right, so. And then we'll add our twine stuff after. So let's see about adding some of these little bits. And I kind of like the idea of having them, the one little thing off, off in a couple of spots for like some ropes to be attached to. So I'm just going to grab, I'm also going to grab some toothpicks. So I'm going to grab my fancy toothpicks. I'll just grab a couple of those. And I'm gonna need my pliers to cut them up. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add, gonna add one here and here and there and there. So I'm just gonna take these, just like our spindles we were using there, um, and cut a couple of little stubs. There we go. And I'm trying to see, would it be better to hot glue them? Hmm. Let's just push this in for now. And I guess we could shove them in pretty good. Up to that first nub there. Actually, probably a little farther in, actually, so right like that. And then we're going to put a little dab of hot glue on each. Sorry if I'm missing some comments here. I'm just... Uh, worried about people's psychology after being alive for too long. So I got some. Oh, cool. Uh, for sure. Sorry if I'm missing some comments again. Um, just got my head in the game here. Um, so that was cool. I like that. I want to add a bunch of those so they look kind of like, uh, in, like you know, super intentional. Um, and I'm cutting them on an angle so they get a little bit of a spike there so we can kind of drive them in. You don't want a blunt toothpick pushing in. It's not going to go well. Um, this one I'm going to try and do the other way. We'll see what happens. Just put them directly on like that. Making just little random details to spruce up the look. Now I don't know if this was actually the better method here. Um, we're about to find out. So what do we want? We put it like right around this middle mark here. And you know what? I'm probably gonna really have to clip these down. I didn't realize how long they were. We've got it. We just don't want them poking on the other side of the wall. So let's try and snip them here. Don't pop it off there. There we go. Alright, so something like, yeah, let's do that. And you know what, actually we could pilot holes with another toothpick because that's not working too well. There we go. There we go. And of course that's going to... Oh. 
I'll pop right out, but let's get that in there. There we go. Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you. Hey, thanks for the follow. Again, sorry if I'm missing some comments. We are just in the throes of my. I pulled back so uh, so that you can see what I'm doing here. Um, but I definitely think that the driving in method is much better. So we just want these short ones for these deck uh, deck pieces because we don't want them to go too far in and stick out the other side. So just a little snip, snip, snip. Um, and try it, I don't know, symmetry in there, sure, there we go, got your head in the game, <laughs> literally like head in the game, you can probably see, I've done it before where my head's just literally in the live and they're like, get your head out of the way, so, there we go, oh jeez. We'll push that in maybe a little farther when I drive, but that works. Um, I mean, we could also just glue them like directly onto the side if we wanted to just add straight detail like that. But uh, I like a little toothpick. We could tie a little rope up to something or do whatever. I have to figure out a way actually so that you could have the masks because the masks are detachable, but we want to have like rope ladder. But that means that your rope ladder would also have to be detachable from the side. So. Um, that's going to be an interesting one to come up with a solution for. And, uh, yeah. Drop something here. And just making sure. side of that deck there. Hooks over the top of the mast. And then like magnets? <laughs> the ladder. I mean, yeah, exactly. It's going to be interesting. And I'm really bummed that I can't find that the stuff that I was going to use for it. Because I was really looking forward to that. And that would also solve our question of how we're actually going to do it. <laughs> but, let's do this instead. And that is pretty far as it can go. There we go. Um, yeah, I mean, we could weave our own ladder, which I think would be a little crazy. So let me just push some things aside. Alright, well. <laughs> you can watch me lose my sanity on this live. Alright. Mirazepan? Mer I'm not totally sure. I've heard that, but I forget what it is. Mirazepan? Mer I'm not totally sure. Um, some of these I feel like we could just like glue on. I'm trying to think of what would look good. We could do some just like regular, regular pegs there and then just Put something there, yeah. I 
I do have scenery elements from cast and play. Yeah, for sure. They have their whole is almond paste, I believe. Oh, almond paste. Interesting. Never, never used that before. Um, let's see here. So I was thinking about using twine, but we also have rope, which uh, this rope is really white. We might have to like dye it a color, but then if you take it apart, it might be too thin. I don't know. Cause like this, the, the string has a lot of like thread strands. The twine is more like less refined. So I think probably I'm going to stick with the twine. Uh, will I ever be streaming on Twitch? Sorry, just checking some. Um, I, I guess I could. Um, definitely could. Uh, but we'll see. So the twine is made up of like coarser pieces, which make great rope individually. So we just untwine them. You should make a wheel. I definitely will make a wheel. Do you sell those? I def I would. I want to buy. Uh, I bet. But um, the amount of money that these things would cost would be a little crazy because of the amount of time that these things take to make. So I don't think. I don't think people have thousands of dollars to spend on uh, miniature builds as much as I appreciate it. Um, yeah, be a little crazy. So I'm just un untang well, unt untwisting some twine here to make a rope. Damn, thousands. <laughs> well, yeah, the amount of time, uh, you know, if you pay me minimum wage, uh, just minimum wage, they would be, yeah, so it's not a crazy viable business. People will be like, oh my gosh, people pay, people would buy those like crazy. And I was like, I bet they would, but I can't make them like crazy. <laughs> but I like sharing the creation process with you and YouTube and, um, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. So there we go. That's where, that's where we do it. Watch all your videos and just started making my own minis. That's amazing, Lizard. I love it. How much are you talking about <laughs> for this shit? <laughs> I don't know. I, some of this stuff I haven't even considered just because it'd be just, I don't know, thousands. <laughs> so, like I said, it's, I don't like giving a price on some of these things because people are like, oh my gosh, really? You're going to pay that much for, for that? No one's going to pay that. And I'd be like, you're right. No one would pay that. And I don't want people just devaluing it, it for the art. So I just don't even, I don't even get into it. It would just be, it would be a lot of money. Let's call it priceless. Um, so the thing is I can't really tie, I'm like, this is where I'm wondering about, like, actually, I know I put magnets on these so that you could take them off, but I'm wondering if that's even a good idea. Because... Um, you want to be able to play these, but I really want to put like ropes in between things. So I don't know if I've actually like come to a solution on, on what I like, uh, as far as like doing twines, but we can do these for, um, I want to make, I want to put these on more securely. So, um, I'm going to grab my cheese claw here, push back and grab my big old thing of cheesecloth here. Where did I put that? Watch as I can't find more of my own stuff. Um, cheesecloth. These have a bin of it. Ah, there you are. Underneath the desk, in the far back corner. There is a bin, and in said bin is the stuff, hooray, everything we need. We found it. <sighs> My mind is at ease. Is eased? What do you want to say? Okay. Do you make miniature figures? Um, I 3D print them. Can you make a key in the mast, which, since you already have the magnets, can I make a key? I'm not totally sure what you mean by that. How long is it, uh, have you been making these? I've been making miniatures for two and a half years now. And here you guys go. So this is the kind of like rug stuff that I found. Um, and I think it's going to make, I think it's going to be good. Like it's almost rigid enough that we could put it as, as like the ladder, the rope stuff. So I'm going to grab my scissors 
and I'm going to cut off a section. And do, do, do. just cutting a section of this here, which is going to be our ladder to the crew's nest. Uh, and I use this for the grid over that thing, so it's got multiple purposes. All right. Okay, so we'll put the mass stuff away because we found this. Hoorah. And we've got our piece here. Uh, bottom of the mass that fits stays more secure. Sure. Um, but I mean, this is pretty secure. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's got some fun wobble to it, but you're not beating this thing around, so it stays. Um, that would be like a bunch more finickiness. Um, so let's see here. Now, I was thinking... We might want to like crimp, you know how they get smaller at the top? And I don't know if we can make this do that by like bunching it up or whether we just cut it. I don't know how to loosen this up. We'll have to see here. The ship does have an inside, yeah, so it's got a hull here. Um, let's see if we we'll pop that up and off. Um, drywall mesh tape, smaller version. Uh, yeah, I have the drywall mesh tape actually, um, right here. So, uh, you definitely could, um, but the thing is, it's, a. Uh, it's, it's a bit small, it's a bit fine for this. I like the kind of like the bigger grid, it looked had more of the look I was going for, but I don't know if I can cut like the, if cutting on an angle would look weird or if I could bunch it, like I said, I don't know if this is going to work at all, but to get that kind of like taper there, um, yeah. Um, and maybe I could, uh, I could fake it out by, well, we're just experimenting, so let's give it a whirl here. Um, what if I cut it down the center here? And see what happens. You know, can we do something to like fake out the ladder going over like that? Something like that. Keep trying here. Um, and I'm just going to cut some of these off here. Oops. Ah, come on. There we go. Are you going to uh, put anything else in there? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're nowhere near done. Um, so let's see here. If we kind of got a vibe, I think probably want to uh, the doing the loose ends on the thing is a bad idea. I don't think that makes sense. So um, there we go. Is that oops? Is that tall enough here? Oh, it's not tall enough. We gotta go farther. Right, right, right. There we go. All right, and then we'll just chop this right off there. There we go. All right, so. Um, we're getting that kind of lined up there a little bit, and let's see here, we could do like a three cut, so let's see if we did this. Um, and we just cut it right down, and 
I'd say we could almost cut it like almost right to the end and then I'm gonna have to go back and clean up some of those ends there so we are working on the, the mast ladder let's call it and I'm just trimming these off so we're trying to get like that taper look without the taper um, because this is pretty rigid stuff but I like it and I think it works well um, figuring out a way that we could attach it to the mast so that it could be removable but it might come down to the point where we just glue it right down All right. oh, we're getting little fuzzies everywhere we'll vacuum up later um, actually let's flip this over there we go. Uh, but I'm gonna have to see how this turns out for sure. It's called a widow's walk because it makes so many widows. My grandpa used to work in the bush, and uh, he would uh, call widow makers when there was a dead branch stuck up in the tree. Because as you're following it and you're cutting the tree down, it would loosen the branch and it would fall and it would make a widow. So I know what you're talking about, the widow walk. I always think of Sinbad and when he turns his ship into like a parasail and all the crew is like, what are you doing? And he's like, just trust me. All right, here we go. So we've cut out those pieces so they don't look so raggedy. And now if we line these up, we can get the semblance of the rope ladder just a little bit. So it's not perfect, but I think that's pretty cool. Huh? So we go blocking the blocking the view there, so let's take our rope and our tines out of the way and let's uh, let's glue these all uh, let's glue these all together. Make sure that's nice and taut. And uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here. And then line those up a little bit. And then, oh, oops, yeah, wrong. That goes there, yeah. And then as that's drying, we'll just pinch and pull charming little scooter <laughs> oh see scooter we got galleon and brigitte and scooter now and that is going to fit right up onto that or around the mast i'm not totally sure and then down the side now we had a cannon hole there but i think that's probably going to be kiboshed and we had this little guy there but he and we'll pop him out so that maybe we can actually like I don't know maybe magnetize this so that it just goes or like with those things and put little beads ends on it I like that all right so I'm gonna I'm just gonna straight up glue this up to the top there I feel like I've missed their lives the last three days. Oh, bummer. That would suck. I uh, I haven't been on uh, much. A bit of a, a bit of craziness in life right now. But um, we did finish the marble temple. And now let's do this. So we're just gluing that right up there. And we can glue these a little bit together if we wanted to, but I kind of, I kind of think that works. Gives the illusion. Um, oh, thank you. Appreciate that. 
So what I think we can do is just glue these little beads on down here. Now let's let's glue some of these beads on down here and get that right up in there. So that's uh, that's a proper shift right there. And we're just gonna grab another hot glue stick. See there. That's 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 exactly it. And we just glue that right in there. Right like that. Boom. There we go. Starting to, start, starting to look like ship. See there. It's got the semblance. So now, with that like that, and again, we could weave these together, but anyway. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do with this is let's grab some itty bitty magnets. Now, I'm going to go for some small ones. I've got a couple of different sizes, but we're going to go, oh, these are 5 by 3 millimeter. And I am going to just literally straight up glue these on. Uh, what did I name the mighty vessel? Um, the sweet, sweet Anne's Revenge. Um, probably after my wife, because, you know, what loves me my wife. And she would be, you know what, it's going to be named after my wife because she would definitely be a pirate queen. 100% pirate queen. She, she's a fire. All right. She's a strong, determined woman. She'd be a, she'd be one of those like a, pi yeah, pirate queen. That's fair. Yeah, you get it. Um, all right, so now that we have that there, I don't want this to pull too much on it because, like, this, it's all going to come, like, well, it's, it's meant to come off. So I am going to just take this, like this, I'm going to push into the side here, and it's going to leave the imprint of two spots where we're going to put the magnets. And then we're just going to grab a magnet. Now the thing is, you want to make sure that they connect properly. Um, so I'm just taking one off. I think magnets are so cool. They like fly around and float around. And fun stuff. Alright. And then literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of glue right in the spot. Of both and then when we stick these in they're going to stick right in there we go and we are just coming up with this on the spot because I had no idea how this was going to turn out um, but I think it's doing all right and I think I probably want to just throw, hmm, we got two there. We could do something fun with that. Um, so we're going to let those dry, though. And let's see about this. Now, I don't think I shaved this one down. What I like to do is just rough up some of these a little bit um, because they were supposed to just end um, tapered, you know tapered end on them so we hack them up a little bit and I think it went aggressive on that other side but yeah just shave them up a little bit here give them a little bit of an uneven uneven look and you can get sandpaper do whatever but I'm just gonna just kind of notch them up a bit there we go there we go 
and that's going to be the one sale there. So let's grab our uh, cheesecloth, which is going to be this is going to be our sales. Just some good old cheesecloth. I mean, you can use regular cloth, I guess, but I kind of like it. So I'm going to trim it down a little bit less than what uh, the width of that piece is. And there we go. Trim a little bit of that off. It's all gonna get wrapped up anyway, so there we go. And then we're just going to put a little bit of hot glue into that stick there. And then put it right on the cheese, to the cheesecloth. There we go. And we roll that up. Oop. There we go. Let it kind of hang a little bit. And then we're going to tie that up there. Or we could do like a, a different, we could do like the fold up. And then, and then tie that. Something like that. It's all made of XPS foam. Yeah, insulation foam. Alright, so we got it bunched up there, so let's grab one of our little twine pieces we had here. And I'm just going to go around like that. We're just going to tie them on. There we go. There we go. And honestly, I'm thinking we do it like this. And then we can kind of start to get a little bit of the. Uh, actually, maybe not because that's not how these work. You got to put that thing roped up. Okay. There we go. Hey, that's a cool little thing. So I thought it was plastic. Yeah, no, it's just styrofoam. I don't know how to show styrofoam, but it's styrofoam. If you check out uh, check out my feed on my TikToks here or my YouTube, um, which I'm also live at right now, you can see um, all my videos on how I make this stuff and see that it is indeed foam. Not that I think you're questioning me, but just in case. Oh, threads kind of came apart on me on that one. All right. And do around the tree and down the hole. It's getting, fibers are getting tricky on me. There we go. Cut some fuzz off. Pull that tight. There we go. Um, thanks for the rose. And now let's uh, let's do the same thing. So we can do, I mean, we can grab the same piece, and then actually we could like cut just a little bit of a notch. You're gonna want to be careful with this, but maybe a little bit of a notch so that the rope stays there. And there we go. But I think this one's fibers are, yeah, they're pulling apart on me. So you want to make sure you get a nice strong piece of twine. Let's grab another one here. Yeah, there we go. Hairy stuff. 
Okay, so let me twine this piece here. Put it right in the knot, double knot it. There we go. So we're gonna get nice little tension there, see what the angle we want at. And, and yeah, actually doing a couple of wraps looks cool. And then Oh, it just pulls apart for you. Excellent. Alright. Wrap it around. Some high hairy power rope. There we go. Alright. There's a little little mast up there. I think it looks pretty cool. And then I know we have this piece of rope here. And actually, let's see about taking these off. There you go. So now you can detach the mast to play. And oh, oh good. Here we go. Pa, pa, pa. Engineering. Just kidding. I don't know. Um, and we could just glue that up there and then put a bunch of rope wrap and ties and something around it some little little things I know all these things have like pulleys and things like that but unfortunately I don't have um, little ones like that but let's just do this Swing there is fun, huh? This is for DD. So we've got our little our little sail there. Um, and now let's try to do it with this one. This one I actually had um, there we go, kind of uh, this one I scribbled on like a little pirate piece, a pirate um, flag on it. But because I thought maybe we'd have it down. But, I don't think so, because that would be really inhibiting the entire play. And someone was saying that, and I was like, well, you can remove the mask, but I actually kind of just like the way they look a little, like, up. So, this one, I'm going to punch it a little bit here. And we just kind of flop, fold it down here. So they don't roll, like sails don't roll up, they kind of like get pulled up. So, let's see if we can't maybe like do something like this. And then we might have to trim off some of this fluff stuff here. it off whatever and then grab some twine there we go It looks a little raggy with a down, no offense. Uh, no, not at all. It was, uh, I mean, it was meant to because it was supposed to be like a, this kind of like undead pirate ship, so things are, you know, if things look a little bit raggy, I'm okay with that. But, um, yeah, I do like a better bunched up, actually, just look-wise. And let's hack some of that off.
I have the rope here. And scraps. Paint it, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Can't have an unpainted ship. All right. So let us uh, again. I want to put a little notch in this one. Just so that the rope sticks. So we can do a couple of wraps around, get a look going. Um, if I can double knot it, there's a lot of fibers going on and they kind of start to fray a little bit. go ship with the blue right now yeah I think uh, I do think that um, but I also I obviously don't want to leave it like that but uh, yeah it does kind of doesn't it I think that's probably why people ask yeah all right and high there. Yeah, all right. Let me say right, say right on this middle bracket here. People don't buy these, but if you're talking about like, I mean, are you talking about like what this costs me to make or how much I sell because I don't sell? Because they would be way too much. All right, well, I think we've got some, some pretty good progress here. Um, and yeah, now we can add that to the other side. Yeah. And we've got it. We can add some more of these these to stuff. I think we're making some good progress. Oh, to make it? No, um, the materials are generally pretty inexpensive as far as like the foam. Um, the foam was like 10 bucks for this giant 8 by 10 or 4 by 8 sheet and uh, all the other little like supplies and stuff it's 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 not a crazy amount it's the amount of time it takes to make that really uh, that really makes it uh, just, um, that, that I mean if time is money your biggest your biggest spend on this is time but as far as to make, very inexpensive. You do beautiful work. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I appreciate that. Right. Let's add a little one right there. There we go. Fun little details. All over the ship. <laughs> and I 
I think it would be fun to add these randomly once I get just a little better of an idea of what and like to do a back sale. Let's see, where is um, where is a dowel? It's a nice mid-sized dowel if we wanted to put kind of like a one of those flag things off the bat. scoring with an exacto knife and then this should break oh, well, perfectly but close Never got to see the stair staircase like this stuff. Well, we just put that on now, so of course you wouldn't. But uh, yeah, just thinking about adding on a little bit of a little back sail there. And I could just glue that straight, straight off the back. And I was thinking of adding like a second one like down here. So it's like here and up here. Let's see. Okay. I can tilt the camera up a little bit for YouTube there so they can see a little bit better. The spiral staircase and the fountain Noah. No, I'm at the temple. Oh, yeah. Um, spiral staircase of the fountain. Oh, oh. Um, we didn't end up adding this to our spiral staircase in the fountain, but we did get resin into it, which I thought was pretty cool. Oh, we'll... There we go. That worked better. complete that look and we'll probably use a bunch of strings to like string it off so let's just um, let's do this thing there we go and we want to put that one right at that ring there so I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to just punch a hole right through our mast. And which one's the long one? There we go. Bada bing. Bada boom. It is a touch big, but let's get that last bit just down a little. There we go. That holds nice. All right, so let's fill that up with hot glue. And give it a good spin so she's in there. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but 
adding on a little back to this to the ship there. And this one we're gonna add right up in there. So again, grab our little tool. And this one I want kind of angled up. So let's hold down, down bit it. Oops, sorry about the wobble. And hitting that toothpick there, but that's all right. We're going to be adding twine to this to loop it all together. gonna do which is totally fine we're gonna grab a piece of twine here oh, that's some old stuff right down to there and we're gonna separate it out here how many hours have been on this one? I, I honestly, I don't know. I, when people ask me, that's the biggest question I get. How long do you take? I was like, I have zero idea. I work on it, you know, a couple hours in the evening here and there. And uh, we've been at it for a couple weeks. I mean, like, tens of hours. You know, we're probably 60 hours in, 50, 50, well, at least 50. I don't know, 40, 50 hours in. Something like that, maybe? Maybe that's a bit much. See, this is what I got. I, I don't know, but for sure 30. Let's just say for sure 30 hours. Um, but yeah, it's a bunch. I'm just detangling this twine there. And then what I'm going to do is it's going to go right in here. And I'm actually just going to do this. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right there. I'm going to attach the one end and spin it around and then get the other end in there as well and then get it into the fibers pretty good go. so that is gonna now be right I mean that's the thing I don't charge hourly and I don't sell these so And that's probably going to really warp that, so let's And so for this, put a little dab of glue. Go. Dun, 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 dun. I'll tell you, race game rope, love it. Thanks so much. I would try not to, but I made sure I'd spend too much time. I'd spend too much time on something so I wasn't losing money. Yeah, totally fair. That's totally fair. I could definitely see that, how that happened, and I definitely see how that could happen with me because. I constantly lose track of time. Speaking of which, I probably lost tack of, tack of time, tack of time right foul. Say through crook and survive. All right, so let's just cut a sheet out here and then adjust it after. There we go. Just 
trying to get a visual, see what it looks like, see if I can pinch it in the rope there. Um, tomorrow, hey, there's Hobby Lobby for Mod Podge and more goodness. Oh, Mod Podge. Modern Podge. Ooh, what kind of stuff are you using? Uh, are you modeling after the ship I've seen? No, I'm just kind of winging it, wingy dingy, because I have no idea. Now, I'm wondering if, what it look, I think I'm going to have to have this down. Um, but I'm also thinking that I'm going to need to, I think I forgot to dye all these, so I'm going to have to dump them in some tea here. So I might not attach that one, but that's kind of the idea we're going for with the grand scheme of things. Now get that away. So we'll take that down and we'll put, we'll save him. Let's see here. We're making some good progress, I believe. Got a, lot, I got a hole of some cardboard to the edge. Cardboard is a great option for 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 substitute for styrofoam. So I mean that's amazing. I can't wait to see what you get what you come up with. So for the stern of this, or whatever you call it, the I have no idea. I've never made a ship before. But I have some dowels here. I was thinking. That we could um, use this like the, the front of the ship thing. And just bore a hole right into there. So this one, I'm wondering how far up we go. I'm going to just... Really give it a good score and... Nice. Woo! And then, just think about just shoving that right in there. And what we could do is, let's see here, that there, and I want to probably, I'm not going to glue this because i got to sand this down, I have an idea for that, but um, we're going to want that to go right into there, so what I think I'm going to do is actually just... Um, Just gonna melt a hole. Right into it. And see what that does. Da -da -da. <laughs> we have the stern of our ship and it's removable so there you go I am completely self-taught I have uh, never I don't even know if they make classes for this kind of crap but um, I definitely just started making making stuff um, Let's grab our other sails here, and we'll just do it quick again. We'll shave, shave, make a little bit more wood, like. Um, now, actually, do I want this one full width, or I probably want it just a little bit shorter? We might do the one down here full. Actually, well then, why don't we just make this that one? 
Um, so just curving up the ends a little bit. There we go. And that's what that's going to be. It's really, I think it's coming together. We're getting these fun, like, mass details. It's starting to look like something. Grab a cheesecloth. A chair's part. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know how this thing is folded, but. All right. So, chop it. Yeah, magnets working against me right there. So, old snippy snip time. Happy, happy, happy. There we go, and so I'm just cutting this a little easier, just off camera. Do you have plans, or do you wing it as you go? I wing it as I go. Um, that is part of the charm. I like to just make up things as I go along. I had no plan when I started it. I had uh, uh, this the, the littlest doodle. Uh, and we just went from there uh, and just kind of, you know, eyeballed it and, you know, it does, sometimes that comes back and it's like, hey, I messed something up, I gotta go back and redo it, but uh, I just like the freedom that it has to just, uh, I don't know, make it up and then it comes out of, purely out of imagination. And using plans is great, I would never, I'm not saying anything against that, that's awesome. Um, and I actually, I want to make plans after I wing them so that you guys can use them. But, um, uh, yeah, I just like to come up with whatever is in my imagination. And planning is a great idea. Um, I just, the way I do it is just, I just like to start doing. So I'm cutting a couple of notches there. Um, and now I'm going to, let's grab some fine there we go. and just unravel some more cordage this is scale rope very fast for you so This looks like a good piece of cord here. Sometimes it can get a little feathery and uh, a bit, bit brushy, but this one turned out well. All right, so we're gonna take it. We're just gonna fold it up a couple of times because that is how sails kind of get up there, and then kind of whatever happens after that is I'm good with. show us some of your reference images or sketches I don't have any reference images um, I have one reference sketch that I kind of doodled I could try and rummage for it but honestly apart from just the first I sketched it and then never looked at it again um, so I don't know if you classify that as reference images but um, yeah I could try and find it, but like I said, I'm going to use that since I drew it. There we go. And wrap it around the. Oh, wait, is this going to. Yeah, that should work. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. I leave much on that there. Come on. Come on, that gets you in the game. How 
still. This one I'm just going to tie up here. Not that much. Probably put a sail up on this thing too. Let's throw a little bit of hot glue on him. And then stick that right on there. Oh, we've got enough sail. There we go. Happy little sail. Yeah. There we go. We are making some great progress on this ship. And I don't. I know these things have like ropes that go all over, but we'll see how how much we can do because all of these are straight up detachable. So. Whoa -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, so let's do one more. Oh, did I do that? I think I did that on the top when I said I was going to make that the second one. But alas, the situation we are in. And I think I was using smaller dowels for these. So let me just see. Got like my wood drawer and these skewers, but mm. that's not the same thing. There we go. paint it uh, when I'm done with all the details we're going to be adding. So, let's do, woo, let's do one the same width as this one here. Maybe a little bit smaller. Thanks, Rob. there cheesecloth for our sale. Here we go. This stuff is impossible to see what's going on. I 
just keep cutting chunks off here. So. Yeah. this up. Thanks so much, Rob. Appreciate it. It's a pretty, pretty chill live we got here. We're just adding in some sails there. And there we go. Got that tied off, and we're going to do the same thing with a fresh piece of rope here. And then just snip snip. There's our other sail. And this one I'm gonna put just a little bit lower there. So I like that. Let's put it right there. And if it melts the foam a little bit, it's actually good because when we go ahead and put this on there, it's gonna cut in a little bit and then hold. button there and 